Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. Last time we, uh, we finally made it to Snowden Village, um, and now we're here in the hotel. And, uh, yeah, so if you sleep in the hotel, you actually get above maximum HP. Pretty helpful on a, um, pacifist and neutral run. That lady over there, just thinking about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon bun just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. No, she didn't say cinnamon bun. Damn it. Awful teens torment a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we start giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. So wait, monsters found Christmas a different way we did? But it's the same holiday? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell you, you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, so if I'm wearing a striped shirt, I'm automatically a child? Okay then. This town doesn't have a mire. If there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. Uh, that's politics. I don't think that's politics. Oh, welcome to Grillby's. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and ha! <sighs> my guys. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Well, you're dogs, obviously. You better watch when you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and gives you lots of love and attention. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Okay, I don't know what that is, but okay. It's a playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Okay, sure, sure. I pour a lot of lime for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Well, you're kind of fish-like. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Yeah. The jukebox is broken. Damn it! The is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're gonna start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the, the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slippers slip onto their butts. Oh, you asshole. Grail said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Well, I can understand that. He's made of fire, so... I wouldn't touch water if I was a fire elemental either. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Oh, jeez. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Okay, sir. Oh, what's this? Let's play monsters and humans! You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world shall felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. <sighs> okay, and I think it just does that for the rest of it. And over here we see this guy. He's just there throwing ice cubes into the water. And there is an event up here, but I forgot about it. It's the, the wrong number song. I completely forgot that can happen. Library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When a monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page the minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> Me when I write essays. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What the hell does that mean? Here I am, writing this book. Any a person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. And you put it on the shelf already? Yeah, this weird lady. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. 
and the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Oh, Jesus. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Oh, jeez. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reach what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. <laughs> oh, burn. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Sounds like my kind of newspaper. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Are you? I don't know if it... That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Yep. I absolutely suck at crosswords. Okay. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. And I just committed mail... Ma um, I just uh, committed a crime. Whoa! Okay, yeah, you can do that to get across the town easier. Whoa! Remember how I said when I played my Half-Life 2 Let's Play that I didn't want to just do stupid shit for views? Yeah, I guess that's no longer a thing. Oh, crap. Oh, great. Fog. I had enough fog when I played Carnivore's Dinosaur Under HD. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder about what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your- No! No! This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You're a human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! The three Ps. That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! Oh, uh, boss fight time. Uh, you can check, you can flirt with- You can flirt with him, uh, but all that does is change the outcome of something that will happen afterwards. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, look at that. So hard to dodge. Smells like bones. Well, I would imagine. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh, wow. So difficult to dodge. My god, I am so have much having trouble with this. What? Hey! What? You are blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> okay, yeah, new heart mechanic. Uh, called the- This is the blue mechanic. Basically, your heart now has gravity affecting it. You have to jump over things. How high can I jump? Not very high in real life. Not- not high at all. I'm not a very high jumper, I'm not a very far jumper. Uh, oh shit. Luckily I bought all those healing items before this, because... This boss isn't really that difficult, but it's just, it can be a little annoying if you're not... Now luckily this boss is actually not, you're not actually able to die to this boss, you can, um... If you are defeated by this boss- oh, you motherfucker. If you de are defeated by this boss, he will just put you in his garage. I'm not joking, Papyrus will just lock you in his garage as well, end of the boss fight. Spaghetti whore! <laughs> Uh, Papyrus, I think you might want to change that. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be real proud of ya. Ow. Uh, I don't know if the king will do that, Papyrus. Ow! I'm getting boned. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. God, that is a that is a sans level pun right there.
Okay, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna eat half of the bicycle. I don't know what a bicycle really is. I'm kind of imagining it's one of those double popsicles you get. I... That's just what I'm imagining it as, but... Oh, now these ones move. Oh god. I didn't get to read that. Okay, now there are blue bones as well as uh, white ones. Unicycle recovers 11 HP, so it's pretty good as a healing item just because you can eat it twice. And because you only have 20 HP on Pacifist, you're not going to need anything really better. Ow. Stop. Stop. What is... What? Okay, thank God for mercy invincibility. It smells like... Yeah, it does smell like bones. And I'm... And I am boned. Give up or face my special attack. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What is he gonna unload on me? How much worse can it be than this? Let's keep jumping over... Bones. I have little... Literally nothing to talk about. I am such- I am so bad at this. I am so sorry if you came here looking for insightful narration. Because I'm not good at that. This is your last chance for my special attack! Just fucking do it already, dude. Oh! What the heck?! That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Yeah, do that. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Uh, I, I chuckled there because I'm remembering uh, Yoshi Maniac's uh, So Story Y2P used this music at one point. Cool? Dude. What the hell? I don't know what that is. What the heck? Oh! Okay, gravity... Uh, the gravity... What was that? I, I just defied gravity there. Oh. I don't trust that. I don't trust that one bone. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. I don't know if I'm wearing boots. Therefore, I, the great virus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now it's your chance to accept my mercy. If I was going genocide, I could kill him there, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going pacifist. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Oh, fuck you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. I'll be friends with you, bud. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends! And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human! He wants to open the barrier with soul power! Then yes, monsters can return to the surface! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle, the king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover! Everybody loves that guy! I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys on the next part. Bye-bye.